Well, for more on that, I'm joined by Howard Cohen. He's an election analyst at Vox Pop Labs. Thank you for being with us on France 24. Uh, what is it that is driving Italian voters towards parties that are far outside the political mainstream? Well, immigration was a major policy issue uh, in this campaign. You've seen 600,000 migrants come to Italy since 2013. And 20 years ago, Italy was a monocultural country. Uh, today, 10% of its population is foreign. So what we saw throughout this campaign was anti-immigrant rhetoric um, from Luigi Di Maio, who is the head of the Five Star Movement. Also from Silvio Berlusconi, the head of uh, Forza Italia and the former prime minister uh, of Italy, who called for mass deportations of migrants. Uh, Matteo Salvini, the head uh, of the League, uh, which was also championing this idea of Italians first. It was this anti-immigrant rhetoric uh, that really propelled these populist forces uh, in this election. Now, there are a lot of uh, possible combinations because, as I've said, neither party or none of those parties have the 40% uh, needed to form a government. The far left and the far right currently dominating the scene. Are we going to see a situation where they work together to form the next government of Italy? And, and what are the implications of that for a government at the heart of Europe? What will that mean for the rest of Europe? Right. Well, first of all, you have to understand that the far right or this right center right coalition uh, does have the most seats when you look at it all together, but they don't have enough to form that majority, as you point out. So you then have to look at, well, which single party has the most support at this time? It is the five star movement. And traditionally, they have rejected the idea of forming a coalition. Uh, but now that they taste power, it seems that their 31 year old leader, Luigi Di Maio, uh, is interested potentially in the idea of working with other parties. So he could, on one hand, make overtures over to the Democratic Party to try to form that government. Alternatively, you might see Luigi Di Maio going to the other Eurosceptic party, the League, to form a coalition government. That would be a nightmare scenario for Europe and for investors, because you would have an anti-EU, anti-immigrant, populist government leading Italy. And that is precisely uh, now a situation where the fate of Italy's uh, future essentially lies in the hands of a 31-year-old politician. Howard Cohen in the United States. Thank you very much indeed.